Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick, before I get into this video, I want to tell you about PopCultureZone.com. They are a website specializing in comic books, some of the hottest variants, and CGC comics. You can get raw comics. They specialize in lots of 10. And for those raw comics, if you are shipping to the domestic United States, you only pay $4.99 flat rate shipping. PopCultureZone.com. Now on to the video. What's going on guys, it's Brown Suit Men's Comics, back again to give you my picks for comic books that are hitting final order cutoff this coming Monday night, the 12th of July. A little bit of news about that, I have heard some news, especially from an article on bleedingcool.com, that if you're going through Diamond or your retailer is going through Diamond, they are actually moving Marvel final order cutoff coming up to Sunday nights. But Marvel main distribution, in case you weren't aware, is actually switching to Penguin Random House, according to that article. On Bleeding Cool, Penguin Random House will still keep Marvel's FOC on Monday. So that's something to take note of when you're looking at these picks. Make sure you check with your LCS. And just to be safe, get those orders in before Sunday night. The article says that that is starting this final order cutoff. But I've had retailer friends also say that right now, Penguin Random House doesn't have much up there for comics, mostly just graphic novels and trades. So just to be safe, make sure LCS or your order online before Sunday night when it comes to Marvel. And again, DC and Scout distributed by Lunar. Those comic books are always on FOC Sunday night as well. But let's get right into the picks this week. Starting with Image Comics, we get a new series. If you liked Middle West, you'll like this book. It's the same creative team written by Scotty Young, art by Jorge Corona. And it is Me You Love in the Dark. That's right. It's got kind of a Stephen King, kind of a shining vibe to it, according to the solicit. Either way, there's a cover A. Also, friends of the channel, The 616 Comics has a great exclusive vein for this available right now on their website. Megan Hutchinson's been doing some great covers, has done one for this one as well for the 616, limited to 750 and 500 copies. So make sure you check out the 616comics.com to get your order in for those. Getting over to Dark Horse for a second. I've said on this channel plenty of times how I'm a big fan of Cullen Bunn, big fan of horror comics. Here we get both with Lucky Devil number one. This is going to be a four issue mini series. And in it, we get a down on his luck schlub who gets possessed by a demon. They do perform an exorcist, but the exorcism goes wrong, and somehow he retains all of the demonic powers, and he goes on a vengeful killing spree, and then establishes a cult on top of it, and the legions of hell themselves aren't too happy about this. They send more demons after him to kill him before his powers grow too strong. Horror comic, Cullen Bunn, said it at the beginning of this pick, that's reason enough for me to pre-order this book. Getting over to Marvel, we get Extreme Carnage Lasher number one. Normally, I don't pick up a lot of these tie-ins, but this one is soliciting that we will witness the birth of a new symbiote. There's a great article on gamesradar.com talking about this new symbiote, so to say, and it also mentions in that article. One thing we do not know is, is it going to be a baby symbiote? I don't, I don't really like first appearances that are babies. I like more first appearances that are what the character is going to be or what the character is known for, much less a baby and then we don't know what to expect but either way if you're for first appearances if you're a fan of venom if you're a fan of symbiotes this is one to pick up extreme carnage last year number one and the great thing about this is there aren't too many covers for it a lot of times with marvel you know they like to put out 13 covers 25 covers 1000 covers 2000 6 million you know what i'm getting at but as of right now, it looks like there's the regular cover A, a Scotty Young baby cover, which if there's a baby cover and the same yacht's a baby, that's kind of meta, it might be worth picking up. And then there is a Jeff Johnson connecting variant as well. Also from Marvel, we get Silk number five. This is the final issue in this current mini series for Silk, but we know it's not gonna be the last we see of Silk. Either way, final issue in this mini series. It's got some great covers for it. You have that regular cover A. There's also a Marvel's Games variant, as well as a one in 25 incentive. I like the one in 25 incentive for this, especially if I can get it at ratio or even below. That's one of the great things about pre-ordering. A lot of times you get discounts, like I always say during this video. So that's something to look into. And if you're a fan of Silk, we know that Amazon TV show is coming. And I'm sure we'll see her show up in other 
forms of the Spider-Verse, whether it's video game media, TV show media, movie media. Silk is a character, I think, that has some staying power, so it's definitely worth picking up. And if you're a fan of art, there's fantastic cover art in this series, fantastic interior art, and just from a reader point of view, Maureen Gu, hope I said that name correctly, has done a great job on this five issue series. And then over to Boom, we get Basilisk number three. Yes, still a huge fan of this series. And of course, it's written by Colin Bunn. And the interior art by Jonas Scharf, all have been great. Told you I feel like this series, we have gotten a few issues in, and I still feel like this has that something is killing the children type vibe for it. Could be that next one for Boom Studios. Although they keep putting out banger after banger of title. No, no denying it. Been a huge fan of Boom Studios. Talk a lot about Boom on this channel. But Basilisk number three, definitely going to pre-order that. And there is a 1 in 25 incentive Raphael Albuquerque variant for this. So if you're a fan of those ratio incentives, that's one to pay attention to as well. Then we got one from DC Comics. Again, DC Comics FOC is definitely Sunday night, so make sure you get those orders in. And one book I'm talking about is that James Tyne and Goodness, and we're talking about Nice House on the Lake number three. Issue number two just came out. Continues that great story. I mean, James Tynan, I don't know how he comes up with some of this stuff, but between all the titles he's writing and keeps on putting out great stories one after another, a lot of buzz around Nice House on the Lake. Issue number one is doing really well on the secondary market, especially with the store exclusives. That one from Wanted Comics, absolute banger. My local comic store, Third Eye Comics, also has a great store exclusive. But either way, James Tynan, another great horror comic. Nice House on the Lake, number three, hitting FOC this Sunday. And as I like to do recently, there is one trade paperback coming from Image Comics that I'm super excited for that's hitting final and cutoff. Talked about this series a lot. Been talking about Stray Dogs, but I've also been talking about Two Moons. Two Moons, that volume one for that trade paperback. If you haven't been picking that up and haven't been reading it, here's a great opportunity to do so. Volume one of that trade paperback is hitting FOC this coming Monday. Which brings us, lastly, to additional printings. Just have a few to talk about this week. And we're going to start with that indie publisher, Black Mass. They got God Killer Tomorrow's Ashes, number one, hitting a second print. But then also we get Stray Dogs, again, getting multiple additional printings. Issue number one is coming with a fifth print. Issues number two, three, and four are all getting a fourth print. And issue number five is getting a second print. Issue number five just came out. So these, this FOC, you get these additional printings. If you have missed out on this series, these additional printings is a great time to pick those up. Pre-order all five issues of those additional prints. That way you can read the whole story instead of just going to your LCS and only seeing like issue number three on the shelf. No fun in that. Or wait for the trade paperback because I'm sure it's coming. And I'm sure... When it does, we talked about on this video. And then also from Marvel, we know we have the Shang-Chi movie coming. Trailers in the theaters. It's great to be back in theaters. Just saw Black Widow this weekend. My family loved it. So if you haven't seen that, go see it. But back to Shang-Chi, issues number one and number two are getting a second print as well. So there it is, guys. Those are my picks for comic books that are heading final or cutoff this coming Monday slash Sunday, 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 Sunday. Make sure DC also check into that Marvel. I haven't heard for certain if Marvel has moved to Sunday or not. Diamond, previous catalog, their website's still showing final orders due for Monday, but that always is subject to change. So make sure you're aware of that. With that being said, guys, this is Brown with Simpsons Comics. See you guys in the next video.